how to get sales on your Amazon product in your initial days. I agree, this is the problem. And this is one of the most common problem with almost every new Amazon seller face. But as a five years old Amazon seller, I have faced this problem many times. And actually every time I have overcome this problem by just putting a little effort. And about this effort, I'm gonna explain you each and everything in this video step by step. Like how I got this problem and how I overcome this problem and how after watching this video and after following this same method, you will be able to solve this problem for you and for your new product, you can actually start getting a lot of sales quickly and fastly. So if you're interested in learning about that for free, just keep on watching this video till the end without skipping any part. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and here I have opened Amazon website and on the second tab, I have opened my Amazon seller center. So basically two things we need to understand here before working on this method and if you understand these two things and understand how the Amazon whole system will work, then you will definitely be able to get sales on your new Amazon product as well, no matter how many other sellers are already selling this product on Amazon. So basically here on Amazon, how the system work is like if I'm a buyer and I want something to purchase from Amazon, what will I do? Like you are a seller, but while working on Amazon, while doing your product research and while doing analytics, you need to consider yourself as a buyer. Mark my words, this thing will help you a lot. Whenever I want to ask something or whenever I'm having any question in my mind, I make myself, I consider myself as a buyer. And as a buyer, I go on Amazon and type for that product. And then I ask myself, like if I am a buyer, so at this point, what will I do? For example, if I search any product on Amazon and there are three listings in front of me, one listing is mine and two listings is for other seller. Then if I see these three listings as a seller, then I definitely pick up my listing. But if I think as a buyer, then I will be able to give my unbiased review. Like which listing is best of all of those three, my listing or other listing. Right? So if I'm a buyer and I go on Amazon and I want any product like a pencil pouch, right? So I go on Amazon and I type the main keyword of that product pencil pouch and I just search that keyword. So for example, if in this case, this is our product pencil pouch and we have launched this product newly this week and this product is not getting sales even after running the PPC. So what we have to do to start getting sales on this product on Amazon this week. So now here we need to understand like this is a pencil pouch and pencil pouch is a very general product. Almost everyone who is a student want this product, right? But there are many variants of this product. Like you can see that if I just search for the pencil pouch, I can see four listings in front of me. Number one listing is pink pouch, number two is white pouch, black pouch and blue pouch. And you can see that the design of two listing is same and then the design of third listing is different and the design of fourth listing is different. So this thing happened with every product. Like if you search for any product, there can be multiple variants of that product for different color, different size, different material or even different uses. And there are different different audience for these different segments. Like maybe for this first product, if it's a pink product, then no boy will purchase this product. Only girls will be interested in purchasing this one, right? So the audience for this product will be girls. And maybe those girls will be aging between 18 years to 25. Like I'm not sure, but I'm just giving you an example. Right? And for the third one, maybe this product will be used by the boys and uh, those boys will be from high school. So this is the target audience defined for this product, like boys who are in high school, right? So after searching your product on Amazon, the main keyword like pencil pouch, you need to find out how many popular variants for this product are selling. And then you need to decide the audience for those variants. And then you need to find out the keywords. Like for example, if you are a boy for high school and if you're a girl for Montessori school. So what that boy will search on Amazon if he wants this black pouch and what that girl will search on Amazon if he wants that pink pouch having a lot of space in it, like different space for pencil, pen, rubber, ruler and sharpener, right? And if I go further down, I can find multiple variants like purple one, blue one, green one. Some are having more space and some are having less space, right? 
the so the first step is to go on amazon and type your main keyword and find out the variance and audience and on the left side after typing that main keyword pencil pouch i can see over 5000 results that means there are more than 5000 seller selling their product rank their product on pencil pouch because this is a main and generic keyword but if i just go on search bar again type pencil pouch space then I will be able to see all of those other keywords which people are searching on Amazon like flat pencil pouch, cloth pencil pouch, plastic pencil pouch, right? So these are different material, plastic and cloth, pink and blue, for boys or for girls, right? So if I just narrow down this keyword from pencil pouch to cloth or plastic pencil pouch, right? Plastic pencil pouch, enter. So here on the left side, you can see that the results went from 5,000 to 3,000. That means the competition is less on this keyword as compared to pencil pouch, right? So if I just zoom out and scroll down, I can see all of these are plastic pouch, not the cloth pouch. That's why all of those cloth pouch has been eliminated and this number falls from 5,000 to 3,000. And if I want to further fall down this number, so I can just add gender or color. Like here, this is the plastic, which is material, like plastic pencil pouch for boys, right? And if I search that, so from 3000, you can see that this result dropped down to 1000. Wow. So if your product is specific to any gender or any color or any material, so you need to find out one by one, all of those keywords, which define your exact audience. Because if a person want a cloth pencil pouch, he or she will not search for a plastic pencil pouch. So that person will not be your exact target audience. So you need to eliminate that. You don't want your product to come in the searches for that person who don't want to buy your product, who is only looking for the clothing pouch. However, you are selling plastic pouch, right? So you can find many of the keywords regarding that, like which include plastic or boys. You can see that pencil pouch, clear plastic for boys, plastic pencil pouch for boys and so on and if you find all of those specific keyword you will find the less competition in all of those keyword like 500 1000 1500 or even 2000 not like pencil pouch which was 5000 right so the first step is to go on amazon type your generic keyword and from that generic keyword find out the different type of audience for that product and then after that find out 10 to 20 specific keyword regarding your product and then your duty is to put all of those keywords into your listing like into the title into bullet point or into description so by doing that your buyer your target audience can exactly reach out to your listing who want to purchase because if you redirect all of those customers who want to purchase exact product as yours, so the chances to get the sales on your product will be super, super high. And after putting all of those keywords into your listing, you need to use all of those keywords into your PPC campaign as well. You need to go on your PPC campaign, one by one put all of those keywords into your campaign, set the bids and turn on all of those campaigns. Because by doing that, when someone go on Amazon and type plastic pencil pouch for boys, they will be able to see your listing on the search engine as a sponsor. So when they will click on that listing, purchase your product, you will get a sales from PPC. And if you get a sales from PPC on any keyword, Amazon will rank your product on that keyword. Because Amazon algorithm will learn, like this product is regarding that keyword, that's why that person who has searched plastic pencil pouch for boys purchase. Right? So if you start getting more and more sales from PPC, Amazon will start ranking your product higher on many of the keywords. So if you do this practice for one or two months, so after two months, after three months, your product will get organic sales as well. Like if in a month you are getting 100 sales from PPC, you might get 200 sales from organic. So in a total, you'll get 300 sales. So with time, after every month passes, like two months, three months, four months, your ad spend will be less and your revenue will be high. Right? So this was the first thing you need to do and now the second thing which is very very important. After doing that thing, after finding the keyword, putting those keywords into PPC, putting those keywords into listing, you need to go back on Amazon Seller Central and from that tab, you need to go on reports and then business reports, right? And then scroll down and on the left side click on this detail page sales and traffic by child item. And after clicking on that, you need to scroll right and put the filter for at least one month like from july 2023 to august 2023 because this is the period for last month so here after putting that filter and after going on that tab you need to analyze all of these columns like session total page views total and units order right so basically if i zoom in you can see that for this first product in this last month i got 2864 page views 
that means 2864 people visit my page visit my listing visit my shop so these are the page views i got on my product and these are the actual people visit my store and out of those 2864 people i got 180 sales so that means this amount of people go on my listing and this amount of people have actually purchased. So if we want to find out the conversion rate or conversion ratio, we need to divide this number with this number. So let's just open that calculator and on that calculator, we need to enter 2864 divided by 180, right? And this number is 15.9, which is almost 16%. And that is very, very good because any conversion ratio 10% or more than 10% is really good. That means if you bring 100 customers to your shop, so 16 out of those 100 will purchase. And this formula will go on. You can multiply. If you bring 100 people, 16 will purchase. If you bring 200 people, 32 will purchase. And if you bring 1000 people, so 160 will purchase. So that means your listing is working. Your listing is converting. Whenever you bring 100 people, so 16 out of those 100 will purchase. So before putting money into your PBC campaign, you need to find out your click-through ratio and your purchase ratio. If your purchase ratio, if the conversion rate is very, very good, 10% or more than 10%, that means your listing is working. And now you are good to put money into PBC campaign. You are good to put bids on more keyword. But if you go here and calculate your conversion rate and it is less than 10%, like 8%, 5% or even 4%, that that means it is very very bad and no matter how much money you put into your ppc your ppc will get impression your ppc will get clicks but no sale so at the end you are more likely to lose money into your ppc campaign if your conversion rate is not good because in PPC campaign, you are basically giving money to Amazon to bring customer to your listing. So PPC will do it work, like it will take money from you and send customer to your listing. But if your listing is not convertible, your listing is not optimized, like not having good title, bullet point, description or images, then that customer will go on your shop. It will count as a page view, but he will not purchase. So that means your conversion rate is less, you will give money to PPC, PPC do their work, bring customer, but you will not get saved. So first of all, before running PPC, before putting money into PPC, you need to make sure that your conversion rate must be 10% or more. Because if you do the calculation, like for example, if you're giving $50 to PPC to send 100 people. So if your conversion rate is good, like 16%, so you will give $50 to PPC, it will send 100 people, so you will get 16 sales after spending $50. So if I open calculator again, and divide 50 by 60 so that means one sale cost me three dollar right but if your conversion rate is four so ppc will take same amount of money like 50 dollar to send 100 people but four out of 100 will purchase so if you divide 50 by four that means you will have to pay 12.5 dollar for one sale and in other case you will have to pay three dollar for one sale so it is almost four times you are in loss so basically before running ppc you need to make sure your conversion rate is good and if that is not good, you can just go on my Amazon playlist and find out the listing optimization video. So if you watch that video, you will optimize your listing to a proper manner, free of cost, then your conversion rate will be good. And once it will be good, more than 10%, then you are good to go. You are good to put more money into PPC, bring more customer and get more sales. Right? So right after watching this video, I hope you are having clear concept in your mind about how your PPC will work and why it is not working. And right after implementing these strategies, you will definitely get your PPC start working for you. So if this method will work for you, then don't forget to come back to this video and write down your experience with this video into the comment box. So more and more people will get motivated and follow this method to get more and more sales. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.